Okay, so block one. Now when we are warm, we're going to have eight different exercises that we will do. 45 seconds off, on, and 15 seconds of rest. So we're going to start off with some squats. So feet outside your hips. Let's do it. Shoulders back. 45 seconds. First exercise. Go. So chest up. Press your knees and your toes out. Brace your core. And see if you can get that butt down to 90 degrees. Every time you lift, try to push through your heels and just keep on going. Remember, you can always do your own timing. So you can do as many as you can for 45 seconds. Almost there. Hold. Number two. Alternating back stepping lunges. I'll show from the side. We got 15 seconds. Let's go. Take a big step back. Drop your back knee to the floor. Raise your core and push. You need to get that balance and you get that through the core. Lift, push. You already done this once. Keep on, keep on. Hold. Number three. We got the inchworm. So feet outside your hips. We're going to climb out, break, and then climb up. Let's get that over that body warm. Climb, stop in the plank, and climb up, stand. Put your weight in your hands, brace your core and down with your butt. Put all the weight in your hands and stand. You will feel your shoulders, you will feel your core, your abs. If you got it, do it a little bit quicker. Don't forget to climb with your hands and hold. Shake it off. We got push ups. Come down, hands outside your shoulders, knees in. If you like to, you can put your feet up or have them on the ground. Let's go. Push ups. So chest goes down to elbow height and then push through your hands. Long back. 45 seconds is a really long time to do the push-ups. So don't forget, do your own timing. Push and hold. Man, my shoulders are really warm right now. Keep going, keep going. Next up, we have some legs. Come up, shake it off. So this time we have some lateral squats. So we'll step out, step in. Step out, step in. Let's go. So foot heel out, down, switch. Chest up, as deep as you can, push. We already did our squats. This is a little bit different. You will feel it more in the one side than the other. Don't forget, knees out. A few more. Ah. 
Hold. Next leg. So we're going to work with some skaters. So we'll take a step and push the knee out. Come up and switch. Not yet. Shake it off. Go. Big step. Push your hip back. Up. Switch. So bend the knee as much as you can. Butt back, chest up, and go. Legs are really warm right now. And you will feel the muscle fibers everywhere. Come on, come on. Hold. We got two more left. So, I'm going to get some cardio and we're going to lift the legs and jog on the spot. So, two more left. Shake it off. High tempo, run. Lift your knees. Use your abs. Use your arms. Maybe you can speed it up a little bit more. Come on, come on, come on. 45 seconds. And then we only have one. My heart is pumping. Come on. Five seconds. And hold. One to go. We had a plank. So hands underneath your shoulders. Lift so you come up on your feet. Put tension on your core, but down. Last 45. If you feel that you will have some pain in your back, or maybe this is too challenging after the running, you can always put your knees down, but still push through the hands. And just hold until the finish line. Come on, come on, come on. After this we will have a break, so just keep on going. Every strong athlete needs a strong core. And hold. Whew. That was eight exercises. Just shake it off and maybe try round two.